Well, I'm reading a story about how the PlayStation Portable, the new one, is back in stock. I'm like, okay, well, this is the same thing that I'm talking about with the uh, Square Enix leaving Sony and the PlayStation 5. How there seems to be this uh, exclusivity to getting Sony products. They shortfall the distribution of these systems. They get scooped up scalpers are going to be scooping this up again and reselling it for another 200 above market asking price and it's absolutely ridiculous by the way go check out pawn shops i saw one in a pawn shop for the retail price uh it should be cheaper because it's used but that's besides the point this new playstation portable it, it, it's been out there for a little bit what what the hell is i don't even know what the name of it is it, 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 it comes with a screen and the controller on the side of it uh it looks like a giant ass steering wheel that you you maybe race with but ultimately does this matter anything for sony will that change the marketplace will that make them more uh, exclusive will that make it more no why because it is only usable for PS5 games and some PS4 titles. It being for some PS4 titles, yes, they're saying majority of them will work, but it needs to go back to the PS1, PS2, PS5. They need the emulation of that for anything like this to be successful. Uh, when the PlayStation 3 first came out, there was backwards compatibility for a lot of games. Uh, later models removed the backwards compatibility and in an update brought it back and did that really change anything they did it stealthily no one really knows this i still to this day have a ps3 that will play ps1 games uh but it's not the original with the multiple ports it's it's more of a slim line model so ultimately d did that win not really but it does uh he it's funny it, with the PlayStation 4. If you have a PlayStation 4, just try this. Uh, some games, some PS1 games, will run with the PS4. I know with mine, I can uh, insert Final Fantasy 7 and it will come up. Uh, I used to actually use this as a way to port it to my uh, original PSP and play it that way, and then upload and keep it and can use the PS4 as a go-between to actually save the game uh, as extra files and play between the two. This was something I did a long time ago, but I don't do any more because I just don't have the time to play many games. As you can see, we're back in the car. Uh, and time is not something I have in abundance. It's uh, I got to do some time management, and this is this is what has worked out. This is where I've gone now. This this new console, well, it's not even a new console. This re-release or redistribution, where they're putting out a second wave of this, or is this the third? Wave? I don't even know what wave this is of this uh, console at this point. But there's news articles coming out saying, "Oh, it's back in stock. You can go buy it again." Jeez, jeez. Uh, you know, maybe if this thing was over and done with the market where you could buy it anywhere like the super nintendo was at one point like the nintendo um a lot of the other consoles do you ever have a problem trying to find an xbox right now or a nintendo switch i didn't have a problem with the switch uh, i had a problem finding the switch oled but for me the oled model of the switch made no sense like yes i'm using i will use it for portability but there's not really that big of an upgrade from it i i think there's a little tiny bit size difference on the switch and then you have a better screen ultimately but when you're playing on a small screen like this in the first place that that resolution on that that screen is going to be just as good as the other one uh i didn't honestly see that much of a difference between the two models to warrant a giant price increase just to say it's an oled now you get an oled that's a giant screen and say a 50 inch tv that's going to make a big difference because now you're going to see a crisper clearer uh image that's not tiny right? You're, you're looking at something that's actually quite big. So most uh, businesses that are running like sports uh, for their on their TVs, they should upgrade to something better because then the quality is there and you have more people that will tune in because it's more flashy and more, more exciting and you see a lot more of the details. But when it comes down to a port, you know, portable device, 
I'm more than happy than to have my phone uh, or even in that case have an old school plume Game Boy. I have a few Game Boys sitting around that have been given to me over the years and they're Every once in a while, I, I will pack one in my bag and, and take it and put in Legend of Zelda, uh, what is it, uh, Link to the Past, because I do own a cartridge of that in multiple forms, and that's just fun to have and go around. Where the new, the, the PlayStation Portable, are, how are you even getting games on this thing? Uh, like the Nintendo Switch, they at least have a cartridge, they have an SD card cartridge that works very well in that sense. And then when it comes to the, the 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 PlayStation Portable, I I'm guessing you have to sync it up with your PS4 or PS5, download the games, always have a Wi-Fi connection on top of that. Where the Switch, you don't need a Wi-Fi connection. You don't need it with that. And I'm guessing that's what it is. I haven't looked into the console because I don't see the point. Uh, PlayStation games, you know, for the longest time. PlayStation has been the, the system that's been a one-party system or a one-person system. If you are a bachelor, you're alone, and you have, you have no interest on going out in the world, meeting new people, doing things in the world, then get yourself a PlayStation and play the games till your heart content because that's the system that the, the target audience. Where the Nintendo stuff that's out there, it really is a party system. It's meant for multiple people. It's not meant for just one person to play it. It's meant to sit there in your living room and be a statement and say, listen, we we want to play games together. We want to have fun together. We want to do a lot of things. And then what is the Xbox at this point? And the Xbox is, really does feel more like the everything uh, companion or the everything uh, model. They, they've moved away so much from an Xbox to a PC because the one thing I've always said about uh, the Xbox and you know, I know it's not completely accurate, but I've always said, why in the world am I going to buy an Xbox when I can have a PC and have majority, if not all of the games available to me, available to me anyway? Most games that come out on the Xbox will, at some point, will come out on PC. And that's just the nature of the beast. That's Microsoft. They, they don't really, yeah, they prop up their Xbox, but at this point... What is the point of it even having an Xbox? Uh, you know, previously in the in, in the Square Enix video, I talked about how you can get a mini tiny little PC for about the same price, if not cheaper, than an Xbox or a PlayStation at this point. Why not just do that? But, you know, the, the articles I'm seeing out there for the PlayStation Portable, once again, it's a item that Sony has uh, turned around and the distributors don't have enough of they don't put out enough with the distributors so then it just goes to the wayside and it gets wasted and p and you know people sit there and go well why isn't sony doing so well in the market why are they laying off people why why when they have all these exclusives they say oh it sells millions of dollars well part of that is because the the exclusivity and no one can get these things no one has availability access to it because it's been so poorly missed managed i don't know these are just thoughts from a car have yourselves a great day i'm your product name phoenix in a shadow i'm signing off here i will see you again very soon don't forget to like and subscribe